सो गुड मॉर्निंग टू द ऑल प्रेजेंट्स आई एम साक्षी भारती सेकेंड सेमेस्टर स्टूडेंट ऑफ बी एस सी ओ टी टूडे आई एम हेयर टू गिव यू अ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द एनाटमी ऑफ द लंग्स एंड आई विल ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड सम ब्रीफली ओवर व्यू ऑफ द अदर रिस्पायरेटरी ऑर्गन सो लेट्स बिगिन सो लेट्स लुक आउट द कंटेंट ऑफ द प्रजेंटेशन फर्स्ट आई विल कवर द रिस्पायरेशन दैन द रिस्पायरेटरी ऑर्गन दैन द ग्रॉथ anatomy of the lungs then the surface and the border of the lungs then the facer and the lobe of the lungs then the root of the lungs then we explore the bronchial tree then the bronchopulmonary segment so whenever we talk about the lungs the first question that come to our mind that is what is respiration so respiration is a process by which a living organism take in the oxygen and remove the carbon dioxide okay then there are many uh, organ which participate in the respiration and they collectively known as the respiratory organ the first we talk about the nasal cavity so in nasal cavity we have a pair of nasal passage so the uh, nasal cavity is the first organ where the actually the respiration begin uh, in coming towards its function then it filtrate the air that means not when we inhale not only the air which goes into our body uh, goes into our nasal cavity there are the air bond air bond uh, pathogens and the dust particles and the mist which goes into our nasal cavity so the nasal cavity filter out that things and remove the things so that uh, when the air goes into our lungs it is protect protected then the second function is the modification and the humidity modification of the temperature and the humidify the air we breathe in uh, we all know the temperature of the body is not same that in comparison with the environmental temperature so if the air we inhale is uh, no, uh, the temperature of the air is not same as our body temperature so the nasal cavity uh, makes sure that temperature become uh, become um, be match the level of the temperature of the body the third function is of the nasal cavity is the olfaction that is the capturing of the odor then coming towards the pharynx so pharynx is a pathway for the both the food and the air uh, the food uh, from the pharynx leading towards the esophagus and uh, the air leading from uh, pharynx to the larynx then coming towards the larynx the uh, the larynx is uh, uh, work as a protecting the lower respiratory organ now the question is how the larynx protect the lower respiratory organ then the uh, larynx there is a flap like structure which covered the opening of the larynx and that protect whenever we swelling any food it not goes into the wind pap then the trachea trachea is also known as the wind pap and it is uh, it to take the air and send it to the bronchioles and the lungs as i mentioned early that i will give you the only overview of the other respiratory organ and the main hero of my presentation is the lungs so we first see the gross anatomy of the lungs so when uh, we talk about the lungs then uh, the lungs is the is essential respiratory organ which present in the thoracic cavity it occupies the major portion of the thoracic cavity so when we talk about the texture then its texture is soft and uh, if we touch the lungs it feels soft and spongy then the color of the color of the lungs the color of the lungs in the young age is brown and gray but gradually with the time it converted to the mottled black the, there is a misconception between the people that the uh, the person who smoke or the person suffer from any disease or the infection then the color of the lungs change but it's not a healthy man or a woman uh, lungs color is also change in the adulthood that is it converted into the mottled black due to the deposition of the carbon particle that we inhale 
than the weight of the lungs. When we talk about the weight of the lungs, the both lung weight is different from each other. Uh, like if we talk about the right lung, if we take uh, right lung the 700 to gram, then we have to take the weight of the left lung is 650 because there is a uh, because the left lung is 50 to 100 gram uh, less uh, nay, more heavier than the left one. Then talking about the shape of the lungs, then the uh, the shape of the lungs is conical is not the conical completely. It's look like the conical in shape. As uh, the both the lungs hold the heart between them and providing the protection. As, uh, and this is, the, uh, this is the reason why the weight of the lungs of the left lung is less than the right lung. Because there is a present of the lungs in the left side which take the space which should be uh, provided for the left lung. But because of the uh, heart, it take occupy the left lung, uh, lung left lung uh, that's why the weight of the uh, lungs, sorry, weight of the left lung become less. Then features of the lungs. The a lungs has the an apex, a base, and the border and surface we will discuss later. Okay. Then the apex. Apex is the upper upper end of the lungs you can see here, and it lie, uh, it lie anterior end of the first rib. And it reaches up to the 2.5 centimeter of the uh, of two point, uh, above the 2.5 centimeter. Uh, the uh, I... that yeah, it... uh, clavicle, uh, the for, uh, one third of the clavicle. As we know that the clavicle shaft is divided into two parts. That is the medial two third and the lateral one third. That's why when we talk about the apex, the apex reaches the medial one third. Then the base. The base of the lungs is semilunar. Semilunar in the sense when we see the half moon. It's exactly the same. You can see in the figure, it looks like the half moon shape. Uh, then the concave and resting on the diaphragm. Because of the resting on the diaphragm, the organ which lie below it, like the uh, like the uh, like uh, the stomach, uh, stomach fundus region, spleen, and the right lung is separated from the right lobe of the liver, and the left lung is separated from the left lobe of the liver. Then uh, coming towards the surface and the border of the lungs. So first we discuss about the border, and then we goes into the surface. So the uh, lungs have the three borders anterior, posterior, and the inferior. If we talk about the inferior uh, border, border, then it... Huh. This one is the anterior border. As you can see in the diagram, you can see that the, in the left side, the anterior border is uh, likely the vertical. And in the left, uh, right, sorry, in the right side, uh, the anterior border is look like the vertical and the right side uh, the interior border look like uh, there is a, um, a margin which is cutting. This is because of the notch which I early mentioned. Uh, then coming towards, and it is shorter than comparison with the uh, posterior border as you can see. We cannot see in the diagram because it is behind it. So, then the posterior uh, no, I can. Uh, I missed the one point that is cardiac notch uh, below, uh, which is start um, from the fourth coastal cartilage, and and there is a surface uh, below the cardiac notch called the lingula, right? Uh, which correspond to the low, uh, middle lobe of the right lung, uh, right lung shafts. Then the posterior border. Uh, we, I cannot uh, make you see the posterior border because it is behind. I will talk about it is ill-defined and uh, thick in comparison with anterior or the inferior border. Then its extension is from cervical 7 spine to the thoracic 10. Then the inferior border. The inferior border starts 
and thin and it separate the coastal surface and the medial surface from the base of the uh, lungs. Then talking about the surfaces, they, it has two surfaces, coastal and the medial. The coastal surface, it's not only the coastal surface, there is behind it and it is large in comparison with the medial surface and concave, sorry, convex. Then the medial surface. The medial surface is inside it and it is convert, uh, It is divided into two parts. That is the anterior part, that is the mediastinal part and the posterior part, that is the vertebral part. The question should be arises, then why is, is this called the medial surface? The medial steel part and this is the vertebral part. The medial steel, it is called the medial steel part because it is present in the medial steel. And the posterior surface is called the vertebral part because it contains the vertebral and vertebra inter, uh, intercostal uh, muscles and the vertebral part and the intervertebral part. Then coming towards the fissure and the lobe of the lung. So we all know the right lungs and the left lung is different from each other in many sense. So in the fissure and the lobe, it also differ. If we talk about the right lungs, the right lung is divided into three lobes by the oblique and horizontal fissure. If we talk about the left lung, it is divided into two, uh, two lobes, that is upper and the lower by a one fissure that is oblique fissure. If we talk about the oblique fissure, then the oblique fissure is ex extend from the posterior uh, posterior uh, border to the inferior border, uh, anterior uh, inferior border. Two minute, bache bonus minute. Okay. If if you want to know the extension from where it is start and where it uh, goes, so it's start from the po posterior border and come up to the inferior border and it is below the 6 cm of the apex of the uh, lungs and goes up to, if we draw a medial line between them, then it is 5 cm uh, towards uh, from the medial surface. As I know, as I told that the posterior border, uh, as I told the oblique fissure come from the posterior border to the inferior border, it cut hold the surface, hold the thickness of the lungs except the hilum. Then uh, the horizontal uh, horizontal fissure. The horizontal fissure is start from the anterior uh, border and goes up to the oblique fissure. Then the root of the lungs. If we talk about the root of the lungs, it is a short particle uh, and it, uh, it joint, it connect the medial uh, surface of the lungs to the uh, uh, medial surface to the media uh, stenum. So the content which the root of the lungs have, the first it has the primary uh, bronchial, uh, primary, primary uh, bronchus. That is, uh, it is also when uh, all the things are different from the left and right, uh, then the root of the lungs is also different uh, in the left and right. The right one have the epipartial bronchus and the epipartial bronchus, whereas the left one have the only one principal bronchus. Then coming towards the pulmonary artery, then both have one one pulmonary artery. Then coming towards the bronchial vessels, as you can see, the 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 the